All right, welcome back, everyone. Uh, this is my Warrior Fresh 99 guide. We're gonna go over what to do and what not to do. Pretty much, we're gonna go through just everything you need to know right when you hit 99. Uh, this is a big question, and there are big mistakes that you can, you know, you can actually screw up your whole build, or you, you know, just gonna have a really hard time if you mess up. So let's go ahead and jump in it. Uh, this is my Warrior, my new Warrior. I just got a 99 not too long ago, so we're gonna kind of just do a very straightforward uh, what I would be doing at this moment, okay? So um, on to the right of my video, that's kind of uh, what I'm gonna be talking about and what we're gonna look forward to, okay? So at 99, so it looks like you just you're hunting right now and you just hit 99. A lot of people make the mistake to stay too long the hunt. Just when you hit 99, tell everyone like, hey. Um, I just hit 99. I need to go and you know sell experience and all that stuff. If y'all didn't know, once you hit 99 and if you die, you lose half your experience. Uh, this this is the case for um, if you're you know at all you know your whole life as a 99. If you die and you have experience on you, you're gonna lose half of it. Okay, so very important. So that's why when you hit 99, you want to you know gate right away because you never know when you're gonna die. Because uh, below 99, like level 1 to level 98, if you died, you just lose a little experience. But at 99, it cuts in half, okay? So that's why uh, it's very important that you leave because uh, you want to sell that experience right away. So at 99, you're going to have around 22.6 billion experience. This is a decent amount to get started. Thankfully, uh, we're going to go over equipment too, but thankfully equipment adds a lot of uh, stats to your um, just stats in general so it's gonna kind of boost you uh, very quickly all right so we talked about how you're supposed to stop hunting okay so let's go ahead and let's go sell our experience okay so I'm gonna go to sell my experience we're gonna come back to that all those items on the ground in a little bit all right, usually I would sell in my clan hall, but I'm gonna go ahead and sell at at another area so y'all can see. So what happens at 99 is the game is pretty much endless. Once you hit 99, the game pretty much starts. When you're at 99, how the game continues and how do you progress from there is by increasing your stats, okay? So you're, I'm sure you know what your stats are. Stats are like Vida and Mana, and um, the game never ends because all you do is keep spending the experience you hunt here and you sell it for more Vida or more mana depending you know what class you are and the reason why you keep getting Vida mana is because your your attacks like uh, berserk or whirlwind uses that mana or whirlwind uh, Vida to do damage so as you get stronger your whirlwind would do more damage pretty much all right, if you didn't know where to sell your experience, uh, this is probably the fastest place to go sell experience. South gate, go up, south gate bias, sorry, and go up all the way to the shadow dragon. You must be completely naked to sell. All right. Okay, let's talk about selling. So there's a, this is very tricky because um, depending on what you have and what items you have in the future, uh, it really depends uh, where you want to go with your um, you're selling okay okay so let's say you're completely geared out you have a lot of gear that adds a lot of items then you're gonna have a ton of either mana or um, Vita then you would spin to the uh, you can spin the opposite right so if you get a lot of Vita items then you want to spend a lot of mana okay you want to buy a lot of mana so it just kind of depends where where your items are right but most of the time you're gonna have a lot of Vita items so you're pretty much gonna buy um, you're pretty much gonna purchase mana all right so the when I talk about items let's just look at a few okay just for fun so your sub accessories at 99 adds a lot of Vita looking at that this one has 3,000 Vita each so that's 6k right there Tiger Mail as 2.5. Um, there's some other, these little anklets right here. Those add 1,000, so it just adds a little bit. 
So what I, so what you really want to do at 99 is trying to reach your um, rage, okay? So if you didn't know, at 99, uh, you pick a subpath, okay? You either go non-player controlled or player controlled. Uh, play, non-player controlled is really fast. You just get in right away, you do a quest, you have enough requirements, you go ahead and uh, you can just join right away. And that's Chun Rung, okay? If you want to join a player controlled path, uh, which is Barbarian, Chun Gun, or Do, you have to apply for that and you have to do quests. You got to RP, you got to role play into it. So it takes, a, it takes a while, maybe like two, I mean, it could vary. It could be like two, three weeks, or it could be a month, depending how fast you do your quests and depending how quick your guide is, okay? So if you're new to this game, I completely recommend you to just go to the non-player controlled path just because it's very quick, um, it, it doesn't involve anyone. You know, you don't. There's no judgment of you or anything. You just, you're not applying for a job, and you just straight up go in. You have the items, you go in and do it. And I'm probably gonna do it on this video. So, okay. So, what's the difference, right? Non-player control path has um, has only a finite. Well, they only have a few spells, right? And then player control subpaths. Um, they have a little more story, they have more role-playing stuff in there, so they have a lot of spells that come with the path itself. There's some unique ones, I mean, they're definitely all, they're very unique because each one offers a different type of playing style, and uh, that's something to look forward, uh, look into later. Be I did make a, um, a sub-path uh, video, so go ahead and watch that, and you'll kind of get a little glimpse of that. Okay, so I recommend doing Chun Rung. Okay, let's say you go that route, um, then uh, pretty, just do that if you're new. This is what I'm telling you. Okay, so if you didn't know, at 99, you've been using, you've probably been using Dragon's Fury or some kind of Fury. But once you hit 99 and you join a path, you can learn a spell called Rage. Okay, Rage is a tiered spell within it. When it, it's only one spell, but it's tiered. So to hit each, there's going to be six rages in that spell itself, and to reach each spell, you have to, uh, to eat to reach each rage, you have to cast um, a certain amount of uh, mana to cast. It. Okay, so for rage one, you need if you're a Chun Rung, rage one would cost two thousand, and if you're a subpath, it'll cost around three thousand. So once you have that mana, you can cast that rage, you know, within the time. So Rage 1 in the list on the right side, you can see Rage 1 is 2,000, Rage 2 is 7,200, Rage 3 is 18,000. So every time you Rage up, your hit damage goes up um, per exponentially. I mean, it, it's supposed to be exponentially, but you'll see the difference. It's, it's a multiplier. So you want to reach as high Rage as you can. So at level 99, you probably want to hit that 2,000 mana, right? So look, let's look at how much mana I have. So at 99, you only have 900 right here, right? Uh, obviously, there's going to be mana items to help you boost it there, but I would definitely at least get le um, some mana because you're going to get a lot of Vita items, So be and you're probably going to be hunting with someone, so you might have some backup. But make sure you get some mana because you want to be able to have at least 2,000 to cast your first Rage because if, you if you can't cast it, you won't do any damage. Okay, so let's go ahead and spin that experience and to join any of these sub paths you have to have at least 1 billion experience on you uh, so it looks like we take a billion off this we're gonna have 1.6 left to use so let's go ahead and spin a billion straight into mana and see where we're at okay okay so with no items on so with no items on I already have 7k vita that's not too bad so when you're selling, be very careful, okay? Um, you're not gonna, a lot of people ask me, hey, how come you don't buy Might, Grace, or Will? Uh, those are minor attributes that play a factor very minimally. So I wouldn't worry about purchasing those. And they're very expensive. They cost about 20 million to buy. And with 20 million, you can buy 100 health. So don't purchase any Might or any of that stuff, okay? So go ahead and start with stats. You can slowly add on to it later, but right now, Focus on stats, you just hit 99, you're weak, you need some stats to back you up. So let's go ahead and go with mana right now. Uh, when you're selling, 
uh, please be careful. Don't press the release my entire shadow. That pretty much just sells all your stats into into a certain, you know, whatever you're on right now. So every 1 billion experience gives you about 2,500 uh, 2, mana. Every 1 billion gives you about 5k vita. So that's kind of where it goes. It'll, it will increase later. So let's go ahead and just sell a billion, okay? So when you're selling experience, you might get a little bonus. You, you'll see on the bottom, it says like, oh, your training went really well. So every time you get those little bonus, um, it gives you just a little more stats. Depending on what it says, it says like mind, you'll get uh, some man, you'll get five mana. If you if it says like body or something, you'll get, you get 10 health. Uh, that's why when you sell experience in the future, always click release my shadow. Don't use entire shadow. If you click, if you click release my shadow, it'll you know, you have a chance of doing that. If you do release my entire shadow, you don't have a good chance. See, look, there you go. Your training was very efficient. Your mind strengthened. So I got an extra five mana on that. And that plays, um, just remember that this, if you're like maxing a cave or something, it's very scary to do anything like that. So make sure you pay attention to how much, um, how much mana you're getting. All right, guys, I sold a billion experience into uh, my mana. So I'm at least rage one because when I wear items, it's probably going to shoot up. So I can probably hit rage two uh, with some items, but we'll see about that. But um, so if you have a lot of heavy uh, Vita items, uh, just you can sell it. You can sell 600 more to your mana or if you want to get um, Vita. But my recommendation is to uh, just get one bill into mana and 600 into vitality. So let's go ahead and spin 600 into vitality right now. Remember guys, don't, you, you want to make sure you keep that one billion experience on you. All right, there you go. Uh, we're 10K over 3K. That looks pretty good. All right, so um, I'm just going to go ahead and um, um, get Chun run right now just to show you how to do it really quickly. It's pretty easy. So the requirement to do this is to get Blessed by the Watcher, and then you have to have Ox Karma, and you need some some items too. So let's go ahead and get blessed by the watcher. Hopefully it doesn't this doesn't take too long. So you want to go to Northgate Baya, go straight over here. So it's pretty easy to get Chun Rung. You can actually do this before uh, before you hit 99 from what I heard. Okay, so pretty much there's a dog in those trees and this dog will teach you dog link. Well, he also does other stuff. He's in another quest. But right now you just want him to watch one, you know, watch you, I guess. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Oh, they go out of a corner eye. You spot a rot watching. It seems to smile, bounce, and then bounce. I think there's a little more than that. So all this quest is all posted on Nexus Atlas. So. It says if the watcher runs away, you do not have enough karma and cannot advance. Oh, great. 
So I actually might not have enough karma. I thought I had enough karma. Let's see. So getting ox karma, um, ox karma is not too difficult. Uh, you gotta do a lot of quests, but if you want to do the cheat version, you can just do a mother load. All right. If this fails again, then we will get more karma. Uh, I had a karma reading, so if you want to know what karma is, just go, you can sage, you can ask around people for a karma reading, or uh, just go to your clan hall, they should be a karma reader. Got the pop up pretty quick. I should probably go get more karma because I think I think it's not gonna work. Yeah, because if the thing runs away, it's going to suck. But I'll show you guys how to do shortcut. So if you have a lot of money, you can just buy mother loads and stuff to get karma. But for the rest of everyone else, uh, if you need karma, just do alliances or uh, do the, the letter quest in Gagoon. Uh, make sure you do, you do like... All this little stuff like Chura, uh, Ring Quest, uh, make sure you do the Dog Linguist Quest. There's lots of ways to earn karma, but that's something I have to cover in another video. I actually think I don't have enough karma for this, so it kind of sucks. Alright, let's go and gate. Let's go get some karma and come right back, okay? I'm actually going to speed through it, so... I'm gonna get myself to very high karma. All right, we're back at the house. Um, if y'all didn't know, there's you can you can get karma by p having pirate coins and selling it to the per the live person at the library. Okay, so there are items in this game called looted treasure or mother loads, and you can sell those to get uh, pirate coins. So that's kind of like a cheat. So if you have a lot of money, uh, you can just purchase these and just jump ahead. But I think they run around like. 700k to 900k so they're pretty pricey and remember when you open these these are all chances at getting it you don't get you're not guaranteed pirate coins oh look i got 14 pirate coins let's go ahead and get a little more Okay, cool. I got 10 more coins. See, look, I just used 5. There we go, we got 17. Ooh, we got 18, there we go. Been very lucky. There's a f you can, you can pro There's three things you can get from a mother load. You can get a cutlass, which is really good, uh, pirate coins, and a wondrous stein. The wondrous stein is a four way, it's a targetable red, but it sucks. It's useless. Okay, let's go ahead and spin these coins, put it into Karma, and let's run back and try to get this thing. I don't want this uh, part of the video to take too long. Alright, so you want to go to the library. Uh, these can be found right next to the palace, to the lower left of the palace. I just took a shortcut, but you can. you guys know where the palace is. Library suit, uh, lower left of the palace. Easy, go talk to this guy, pirate coins. Oh, look, you have 98 coins. 
So let's just let's spend all of it on karma. Why not? That's a lot of karma. All right. Um, I'm just going to go quickly do a karma check. Remember, you can you can ask um, you can sage, and I'm sure someone can help you. So in Bear, we have a little NPC that does karma checks. Oh wow, look, I, I guess 98 coins got me to whatever spirit, I think. That should be plenty to get, to get um, blessed by Watcher. All right, let's head back to Baya. Let's see if that rabbit will acknowledge us. Um, on Nexus Atlas, it says that you need only to be Ox Karma, so that's not too bad. But this is a very big wall for all the new players. A lot of people don't understand the concept of... Um, there you go. Out of the corner eye, you spy watching you, it seems smiles like bounds away. Oh my god. Oh, I guess it doesn't want to let me do it. I'm supposed to get blessed by Watcher. Oh jeez, I think we're supposed to say... Guys, sorry, I think I screwed up. I think you're supposed to go talk to the guy all the way up here first. So, um, this is where you're gonna get your subpath. But I think you're supposed to start it by talking to this guy. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, I guess they took this part out of the of the quest. I didn't know that, so you're gonna have to update Nexus Atlas. Sorry, I just wasted like ten minutes doing this, but let's talk about this. So to get, so pretty much just get Ox Karma, and um, to to get um, Chunrung itself, you need one Mythic Favor and ten Splendid ten Splendid Tiger Pelts. Uh, Splendid Tiger Belts can be uh, gathered in Tiger, Mythic Tiger. And Favors um, is if you do an alliance with someone, then you can, um, you'll get a favor. So let's go ahead and run over there with the items needed. Alright, let's head to the guy in the shop really quickly. Actually, I probably should have made a second video to do this. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I guess it kind of sucks that I wasted that much time. Let's go and type Chanrong. Yes, yes, we have all the items. One billion experience. Oh my god, what did it say? What? Oh god, I don't know. I guess this video is not going so well. Great. I should have read what it said. Let's 
That's 10 splendid pelts. Oh, what? I only have one. Oh, okay. So make sure you bring all your items because you'll lose it right away. So let me go ahead and get myself another favor really quick. So um, I thought I I thought I got ten tiger pelts. I guess I knew I knew that if you didn't bring all the items, you're gonna lose your mythic favor. So uh, make sure you bring all your items correctly because if you don't don't, it's gonna steal your favor. Uh, I think this is a bug in the quest because uh, there's only a few quests in the game that actually do that still. And, um, so that's one of them. Alright, let me get myself another favor really quick. And then we'll go ahead and run that again. Glad I'm, I guess I'm glad I'm making the mistakes on this video. So remember, 10 tiger pelts, mythic favor. I'm gonna go grab that now. So next up is we're gonna talk about equipment and tips. Let's run all the way back up there again. Alright, let's double check. Uh, we have one build experience, 10 splint tiger pelts, one rabbit favor. So I recommend every time you go do a quest in this game, make sure you double check, double check. And um, that's a important thing. Alright, uh, then you bring 10 in the heights. You studied for many days under the tutelage of Beck and you learned many rituals and blah blah blah. You are ready. You will now be able to learn new rituals. Go! Alright guys, there you go. I'm Chun Rung now. So to learn Chun Rung Rage, you go straight to your guild master and learn it there. Okay, we'll do that later. Uh, let's see. So next up, let's talk about... Um, let's talk about equipment. Okay, like I said, once you have equipment, um, then it's pretty much straightforward. Um, let's talk about like the best, the decent, and low budget, okay? So let's go over low budget first, and let's go backwards because we don't want to go all the way to rich. Okay, so let's go ahead to do low budget. So low budget would probably be Ambrosia's, um, Earth Tiger Mail. I'm sure you have an Earth Tiger Mail right now. So great thing about Earth Tiger Mail is it adds 2.5k Vita, and you know, as you progress through leveling, um, this is kind of like the most basic armor you can get. As, if you didn't know, you can actually get for better armor such as Star, Wind, Sun, Wind, uh, Star, Wind, Moon, and yeah, those you know celestial ones. You can do those. Those are quests. I, re I don't recommend doing it early because uh, they take karma and stuff. So you can always do it later. But Earth Tiger Melt will last you for a good long while until you have time to kind of work on those quests. Okay, and those quests can be found on NexusAtlas.com. So let's go ahead and kind of put them on. Earth Tiger Mel, Ambrosias. The uh, reason why Ambrosias are so good is because they um, they have high damage and they're really cheap. Uh, bad thing about them is they break on death. And you've probably been using them for hunting anyways. They add a little Vita, not too much, but they still add a little bit. Um, at 9 9, you can get, you can start, you can wear uh, Amber Cask, or you can use your Chun Rung Helm, or you can wear your. Um, you can wear your uh, clan helm. Those are not too bad. Chun Rung being the best before 99. And then at 99, you have a little more options. You got Amber Cask. You have all the cask line. Uh, you got Amber, White, Dark, Yellow. Okay, but those all add negative 11. Okay, uh, so I re recommend just picking up uh, Amber Cask, probably like 200k, not too bad. Or just ask someone to give you one. There you go. Alright, this is probably your basic setup as budget. You probably have some florets from, or some steel rings that from Tangun or something. Uh, 
uh, gruff rings. So the most important thing is to make sure you grab your sub accessories. The sub accessories add a good chunk. I recommend picking up uh, level 99 diamonds. Uh, they're called Azure diamonds. Uh, they're pretty cheap, probably like eight, probably 800k max, 900k max. You probably pick up a good pair. Um, there's also va other variants like stews, bones, um, bones. What else is there? I think, yeah, that's pretty much bones, stew, and diamonds. So those are your variants or your sub accessories. Uh, not too bad. Uh, for hand items, we'll talk about that next, okay? Because there's a lot of hand items you can get. But uh, this is pretty much your basic setup for a budget warrior and just. Ambrosias, this and that. And we'll talk about weapons a little more uh, in a little bit too. But uh, shield, uh, there's a 99 shield that opens up. You can go through the shield quest and get uh, a steel shield. It adds 1k Vita, pretty good. But if you don't want to do that, you can always stick to tall shield, right? But um, the 1k Vita does help. But not necessary. You don't really need it. And uh, you'll probably be using a flame spear most of the time. So we'll talk about that also. But if you want a new shield, you can get a tall shield. There's also like a non-bonded 97 shield, which is the exact same thing as a steel shield. And um, those those look like a little pirate. Kind of looks like a little half moon crescent. So you can pr find those in the market. You can't purchase from um, NPCs, but you can find them in the market. Just look on board and stuff. They're probably like 500k, I think. They're not too expensive. Okay, so this is pretty much the budget version. Let's go to decent, right? So if you look in the market and stuff, you'll be able to find some decent hand items. Majority of your things will, majority of your stats and everything comes from items. So if you want like top tier items for hunting and stuff, then kind of do your research and look at what 99 um, players can wear. So I can't really go from decent to low budget, uh, decent to best because it kind of varies a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to give you all the options. Uh, so for the, let's just talk about the helm, right? The helm, the best helm you can get is a diadem, right? Diadem is just, it's the end game helm for everyone. Uh, but the next variant under a diadem would be a substratum helm. It adds stats, that's like 1k Vita and 2.5k mana. So it does help with mana, So, but it is break on death. So let me give you, show you guys diadem. You can already tell why it's broken, right? It's like negative 14, just has damage on it, it adds a little stat. It's just the highest uh, negative AC armor you can have for Helm. Uh, diadems run around 60 million, pretty pretty expensive. All right, uh, let's talk about your um, hand items, right? So you got, so here's some uh, variants you can use. You can use Substratum Gauntlets. Uh, a lot of people use these for stats, okay? They're probably like the best overall stat giving hand items. So let's take a look at those. All right, so we got 1K Vita, 2.5K mana, uh, very good all-around um, item for you know low levels. Uh, these items are break on death, so it kind of sucks. Uh, they have pretty good damage. Uh, when you're at 99, damage is a really good uh, attribute to have, just because it kind of adds uh, adds directly into them, uh, adds directly into your swing damage. As you get stronger and your your um, swing damage range is a lot higher, uh, the damage Kind of attribute kind of goes down so when you're stronger when you're a lot higher in ranking it doesn't matter if you have damage or not but in low levels it does matter because it does add a set amount of dam um, damage into your swing so okay we got sub dragon gauntlet there um sh if you want the best like hard hitting um rings it's probably sheely rings look at that baby plus was it plus eight Plus 8 damage on each one. They also get 3k Vita. So it's a great item for uh, warriors. But these are break on death also. They cost around 2 million. Oh, sorry, uh, Substratum Gauntlets are, like I said, it's overall the best 99 hand items to get. So those cost around like 8 million a pair. But these two break on death, so a lot of people don't like them. Uh, there are, if you want to go to other ones, you can look at the Iron Hands. These are probably the next best uh, hand items. Uh, just regular hand items for warriors a lot harder to get um, because this is an old event item but I'm sure you can pick up a pair for pretty cheap maybe a million or two 
Uh, just have to look around and sell boards or keep saging. Uh, you can also go with mythic items, not too bad. Uh, new bone charms are pretty decent. They take a lot of mana away, so I don't recommend these, recommend these for people that don't have mana. Look at that, negative 4,000. If I wear this, let's see what happens. Where's my mana? Oh look, my mana won. Look, I can't even cast Rage if I wear these. Yeah, so definitely don't um, don't uh, get anything that lowers your mana because you want to reach that next Rage. So just try to pick hand items that, uh, that don't take away too much mana. Alright, that's it uh, for hand items. Uh, Forsaken Rings are pretty good for PK because they're, uh, they have Sasan, negative AC amount, which is negative 16. So this will bring your armor up really high. So this is pretty much for PK. They're big on death also, and they're about 35, 30 to 35 million a pair. Alrighty, that's pretty much it for that. Okay, that goes with hand items, okay? Um, sub accessories, like I already mentioned, it's pretty much the same. Uh, fighters have diamonds, uh, bones, and stews. If you need mana, you can also wear the mana stew, okay? So that's a really kind of neat trick. And remember, when you cast that rage, you can always take it off and just reuse it. All right, let's go to weapons. This is actually very, very important. Uh, people are always like, what is the best weapon for a 99 warrior? Uh, in my list here, I don't have the plasmic substratum, which is actually a pretty decent weapon. If you look on the warrior board, it's an old post, but I post a... Uh, on Asian Cloudboy, I post a 99 best warrior weapon kind of thing. Scroll down, look for it. Those are some of the lists. I didn't update with the new stuff because I'm not a tutor at the moment, so I can't touch the board. But go ahead and read that if you want to look at those, okay? But we're going to talk about some of the basic stuff. So if you're 99, you just use a spike. That's totally fine. Not too bad. The next best item that doesn't break is a titanium blade super easy really cheap probably get it for like 50 to 100k so sage for it uh, these are made from smiths grandmaster smith and they're pretty easy to get on a hold of okay let's talk about the three best weapons okay because I, I think everyone wants to know what the best weapons are so we're gonna go ahead and go to the All right, these are the three best weapons uh, for level 99 warrior right off the bat. Uh, we're not going to talk about any sub half weapons because that you know that's not readily available. Uh, Chun Rung does get a scale that's not too bad. You can use that too, uh, but follow the quest line if you want to do that. It's like 200 mil experience and you lose some stats if, to get it. But let's talk about these three weapons, okay? Uh, the TP right here, the one I'm standing in front, is a spear, uh, one two hander. It breaks on death, so and it requires a quest line. It takes a minimally around a week to make, and it's a pretty long quest. But if you can get some help, get some items from someone to help you, uh, definitely a great weapon to use. Uh, right here in the middle, uh, this is a pirate. It's a scully. It's a color scully. Uh, pretty good weapon. It casts scourge uh, when you swing, but it doesn't last that long. And next but not least, uh, this is a spear. It's pretty much a pole arm action. It swings in a triangle around you, and very great weapon. So I recommend the flame spear out, um, overall because it does range damage, and you can swing a lot more uh, areas around you. But if not, um, these three work the best. Okay, they're like just the best weapons you can get. Uh, but if you're on budget, you can always use the ones on the left. Titanium blade, spike, they all work just fine. Uh, don't worry about that, but if you can get a hand on one of these three, um, awesome and out of these three the best one probably flame spear okay alrighty uh, that pretty much covers weapons uh, and let's talk about a little bit about the other slots okay I know we're gonna talk about equipment so I'm just gonna deck out my character right now uh, let's just put him like the best items you can get so sun armor um, helm obviously a diadem Let's go ahead and do, um, let's just do bone charms for fun. I mean, that's fine. There you go. And then, okay, so let's talk about the other extra. All right, so if you didn't know, there's a cape slot here. There's actually a cape that adds um, stats. And you can, get a, uh, you can get a necklace here. It's a collar, or it's a necklace slot. 
and there's also a anklet slot you can use that adds stats right here okay so pretty very interesting oh let me put on my stews all right so there's there's two mantles uh there's different names for these but there's two mantles there's a vital one and there's a mana one so go ahead uh just look if you're looking for these these are expensive these are four or six million but there's one that add, there's one that adds 1k vita and there's one that adds 500 mana all right so let's go ahead and have the vita one that adds 1k uh, remember these are not necessarily uh, necessary i don't recommend buying these if you don't have money these cost very expensive anklets uh add around adds let's see anklets add 1k vita 500 mana um, these can't be brought to carnages, but they're probably like 500k each. Alright, and then definitely a collar in the collar slot, the necklace slot. Make sure you buy something there. Um, these are pretty expensive also, but um, see if you can kind of fetch a price. Uh, remember the main things you want to get is your sub accessories. These are the main things you want to pick up. And all these three right here are just groovy, okay? Hand items, sub accessories are important armor important uh, helm pretty important but just get a cask if you can't afford anything good armor just stick with your earth tiger metals fine uh, weapon adds a lot of vita to in stats so make sure you pick up a good weapon too all right uh that's pretty much for equipment i mean pretty much covered everything all right let's go ahead and talk about tips so what do you do at 99 so when you hit 99 the caves you want to hunt at are probably uh Dragon is probably the best cave, and as a warrior, you can't really solo anything, so I don't recommend soloing. So this is based on hunting in a group. So hunt in Dragon, hunt in Courtyard, which is in Southern Kogorio, um, and then you can also hunt in Tiger, not too bad. And you know, obviously there's an option to Leech, so either way, uh, those are the places where you would go. And for stat building, you want to build enough stat where you don't die easily, okay? So look at my stats right now. So I jumped all the way to 33 Kai Vita. Actually, let me take out those rings. Those look horrible. Let's go in decent hand item. Okay, so right now with items with the oh, let's put on a let's put on a weapon. Yeah, so that look at that that spear just added like it's like 6k Vita. It's crazy. Okay, so pretty much on 40k over 4k mana. So that's why I tell people to work on mana because right now I can't cast Rage 2, but I can always get items to cast it. But get mana, hunt mana. 40k is pretty decent, not too, not crazy good, but it's decent enough to survive. But make sure you get up to Rage 2, Rage 3, very important. So for a lot, I'll, so putting, uh, selling experience, putting in stats, put into mana uh, as much as possible and put in Vita to kind of balance it, okay? Very important. All right, so what comes afterwards? Pretty much, you're just going to just keep hunting and remember when to hit Elson. It's 160 over 80, so you pretty much just scale all the way to end game. That's all you do: hunt, 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 and sell stats, get stats. Um, if you need, just remember Carnage's uh, at 99. You you can now get Bringer's Gift. So when you win a Carnage. Um, you're gonna you can have the option to pick up bringer's gift it gives you 1 billion experience and that's a good way to kind of boost yourself too and those um at 99 you pretty much can go to any carnage um during the week all right that pretty much covers the basics of um, a fresh 99 guide uh, sorry guys that kind of messed up on the blessed watcher so it looks like you don't need the blessed watcher mark to have that person talk to you which is actually pretty interesting. I didn't think that was gonna happen, but yep. All right, uh, I'm gonna go learn Chunrung Rage and I'm also gonna go learn Whirlwind. Uh, remember, at 99, your Vita attacks are not that good and you gotta be very careful. Okay, I don't, rec I don't recommend Vita, you know, using Vita attacks unless you have a mage or you have a really good poet because um, your swing damage should do more than your Vita attacks, but what makes you a great warrior is if you can do both But remember it's very risky uh, Whirlwinding usually takes you down to 10% and um, It could be very dangerous 
Alright guys, thank you for joining me, and um, that's it.